Talk Sports lunchtime kickoff saw Liverpool draw 2 2 mm. with West Ham. It was a bad day all round as Jurgen Klopp and Mo Salah had bust up on the sidelines. Sam Matface caught up with the Liverpool boss after the game. The game today mirrored a little bit the last two, three weeks, if you want. I think if one team should have won today, it would have been us. Um, we created enough, we played well, we were in charge of the game didn't finish the situation. Our first half was tricky because fourth game in a very intense period you saw we played well but not with highest intensity. I don't think that is really possible. But a little bit mirroring as well the situation in the last few weeks. Yeah, we don't use our chance, the opponent used the first. Um, coming out, turned more or less pretty early around. I don't know more when the second goal happened because we had between the first goal first goal and the second goal we had massive chances. We, we, we controlled it besides one or two moments in one of these moments. Michael Antonio is in the air and, and, and uh, heads the ball in. So, 2-2. Two, two. Feels not great, um, but we have to take it and that's what we do. There's been a lot of noise around the club, obviously, talking about replacements uh, for your job. Do you think that's distracted the no. players in any way? Oh, players have to ask. I can't see that. I don't know why. I announced my decision early that the club has time to make the deci yeah. important decision early as well. No, I'm not sure if it's too early for me not. I think it's absolutely fine. If, if, the, if it is the solution, well, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't see that, that it, that it distracts players. It's, and it, by the way, it happened when? Then um, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever. So it would be one game. We had more games where we could have done differently and, and had nothing to do with that situation. I know you got to get off just quickly about what happened on the touchdown with Salah. Is everything OK between the two of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We spoke about that in the dressing room all the time. Mm, yeah, mm. Sam Manfrey speaking to Jürgen after the game. Um, well, they obviously spoke about it in the dressing room, but Salah wasn't happy when he went to do his interviews because he said, I ain't talking because they'll be fired. Yeah, I, I, I think it's been coming from Salah. Salah's not a sub, mate. You know what I mean? You, you, you can put Salah on the bench if you're doing rotation. But Salah, Jamie, scored 210 goals and 86 assists for Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? The game against West Ham, tough game. Don't you give don't, him 12 minutes. You don't give him 12 minutes, mate. Don't give me 12 minutes. That's what he's probably saying on the sideline. 12 minutes. Like, come on. I'm Mo Salah. He wouldn't have won a trophy without me, Jürgen. <laughs> they wouldn't have won any trophies without Salah. Salah has been unbelievable for that football club. Where's the respect? And is Jürgen Klopp now causing problems for Liverpool's squad next season? Upsetting players, Salah. There's talk of um, him leaving. Yeah, could this affect Salah now and be like, I'm out of here now. I've had enough. Disrespected. Do you know what I mean? And 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 yes, Jurgen Klopp is the manager. He's gonna have the final say. But you need to win a game in a in a title challenge, and you're bringing your star player up there in the best Premier League eleven ever, ever. Yeah, Salah. And you're getting 12 minutes. You can't blame him on the sideline. So I think um, Jurgen Klopp's definitely in the wrong. Disrespecting Salah. Okay, all right, let's go to David, who's a Liverpool fan, right, Dave? Good evening, David. Uh, good evening, fellas. How are you? Well, oh, well mate. how are you? I mean, you've been to the game. Shocking performance, really. I know West, but West Ham's season's kind of filtered out as well, so I was expecting a Liverpool win. I, I just, I can't, I just can't sit there and listen to you know this. Or, or, or not, not this. These Liverpool fans, right, that, that are not looking at the big picture. November last year, he announced he was going. You don't wake up, you know that that is that is like say eight weeks after the season started. If he was out of energy, he'd have known. Mm, yes, that. he'd have known that. So, in my opinion, if he sat there with the owners and had a discussion to state this is going to be my last season and then come out in November, the owners should have pulled him up in the summer and said, well, we can't really do that. I agree. You know, we're talking about running Liverpool Football Club. You can't come in and run it for eight weeks and then announce that you're going end of the season. Do you know what I don't get as well, mate? Is that like, when you've when you done that interview and he's like, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I'm thinking like, I understand that. You know what I mean? He's been outstanding yeah, for yeah. Liverpool, but... Well, Liverpool needs someone who's got 100%. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to play a player okay. who's who's tired and hasn't got it anymore. And that's affected Liverpool since his announcement because their yeah. win their win percentage was 75% before he announced it, 61% after he announced it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you can't hide it. You can't hide it. If you sat there looking at statistics, 
650 plus games, right? 650 plus games of shots on target. We're the highest team in Europe. You, mm. If you could, City was second with 608. We're the highest. We've hit the, hit the woodwork the most. Just because it's got Nunes. Right? It's a bar on a post three times every game. It, it, the thing is, right, with, the thing is with Nunes is you, you're stuck, right, between a pillar and our place. As a forward, he does everything you'd want across that top line. Yeah. His conversion rate, <laughs> he'd have finished Golden Boot. Mm. If, he, if he'd have put in his, every chance that he got, you know, this season, we'd have already won the league. <laughs> we'd have already won the I league. I know, but it's just, you, you know, it is what it is. You've had to find a way to win. In, in, the, in, the big, in the big moments, when it's come down to the crunch, normally Liverpool are the team, I thought, who are going to get it, you know, who are going to yeah. take it right to the last day of the season. But you, 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 they, you, they, you, they completely yeah. fell off. But David, I, just, I, I agree with you on the sense that you can't come out so long of the season left and say you're exhausted. I get it. When you've done the interview, he looked tired. Ever since <laughs> on the touchline, he looks tired. Every interview, he looks tired. I get it. But you would have known that, like you says, in June. So tell the club then and let them make a change then. It's it's The other thing, the way I look at it is the owners have known that something was coming. Yeah. They've gone back and they've brought back Edwards. They've gone back and they created another opening in the club for Edwards. Then they took Scott Richard Hughes in from Bournemouth, right? This 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 rebuild was was already started in the summer, yeah. Right, so they knew what was coming. The whole situation today with Mo and, and you, I was sat there with my head in my hands, and I wasn't a good look, is it? in that stand. You know what I mean? Mm. To, to to see two key personnel, you know what I mean? Best player well, in the league. Yeah. Best player in the league. Well, it's the two, it's the two star people what? at Liverpool Football Club, really, yes. isn't it? You know, Salah and Klopp are the ones who are going at it. It's a bit embarrassing, really. Dave, I've got to go. <laughs> Look, we're going to keep call, on coming in. Great call. I, I appreciate you phoning in. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.